legendary Super Saiyan, Son Goku! All right, we are back with another Dragon Ball Legends top 10 unit tier list. I do realize that has been a little bit since I've done the overall Legends Limited slash Ultra tier list that I used to do. I will try and get one out. Let me know if you guys want to see one maybe this month, maybe later on this month, if you guys really want to see that. That or maybe next month I'll get one out. It depends. I've just been having fun doing the top 10 list lately, and I've had this list ready for like a day or two now, so I might as well just get it out there. So that way I just have it on my mind. I already have it fresh and all stuff ready to go. I might as well just do a video on it while an LF slash ultra tier list would take a bit longer maybe to kind of prepare and stuff and I just don't feel like sitting through that right now. But if you guys really want to see that, and I don't know, leave a like down below if, the, if this video gets like, I don't know, 100 likes, 70 likes or something. I don't know, 70 likes. If, if it gets like 70 likes, 100 likes, whatever, I'll do it later this month. But I don't know, or leave a comment. I don't know. Regardless, we're here for the top 10 unit lists and all stuff, obviously with the recent release of Ultra Rose. Things have kind of shook up a uh, quite a bit to be honest. Honestly, I know you're probably seeing there's only four spots in tier list. That's because just not to make the tier list like super long and stretch out stuff, and I don't have to be scrolling as long and stuff. I just condense them. So obviously the first row is one to three, then it's four to six, seven to ten, and then we have HM, which is honorable mentions, of course, which we are going to be starting off with that. Before I even start off, though, remember this is my own opinionated list. It's not factual whatsoever. These are just based off of my own opinions with the characters and stuff and based off of what i see from them in my own experiences and all that stuff you don't have to agree that's completely fine so just want to get that away but regardless honorable mentions we are going to start off with that in terms of some characters i should mention the honorable mentions i guess real quick i'll just do this they are not going to be in order just because i just don't really have the brain capacity right now to order them specifically and stuff maybe i could i don't know future go on i think is definitely uh, in the honorable mentions for sure. You could maybe, there, there's like an argument to be made that maybe he could be top 10, mainly because just, you know, Rose obviously just came out. Future Gohan can definitely work pretty damn well because they're both strike based. Future Gohan's yellow, so he kind of covers in terms of versus any purple characters that Rose has to deal with and stuff. Plus, his supporting him, his disrupt, his endurance and stuff can definitely be useful, but I just still think there's other units that are just above him and stuff especially even individual and there's i don't know i just i think again there's like an argument to be made but i, I still think he's like right outside the top 10 like honestly if i had to put him on the list i'll probably put him like at 11 or something like that that's the only character i really 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 rank and all this stuff so there's that. another honorable mention character is going to be uh revival ui goku i just don't think he's top 10 right now like he's okay he's solid maybe some people kind of go a little bit too far and saying he's completely mid and stuff but i also don't think he's the best he's okay he's nothing really too special but he's also not too bad he definitely can be good in the right situation on universe reps because at this point now especially with rose releasing universe reps is the only team you're gonna run him on because that's the only team he has value on because it's a blast based team rose is strike based and all stuff so he's not gonna fit the absolute best on there so there is that at least at least on that team he has value but i don't know we'll see how he continues the age it's probably not gonna be the absolute best i could be wrong though but we shall see but honorable mentions for now so there is that also pan i do think pan is honorable mention she was in my top 10 last time around but things will just change up so drastically and i still think she's obviously a very good support especially for the movie team i just don't think the movie team is best team in the game anymore so at that point that kind of drops her value down a bit plus there's also quite a few strong blues in the meta as well that kind of hurts her position and stuff and it's just yeah, like she's okay. She's still a solid unit for sure, which is why she's in our all the mentions anyway. So keep that in mind, but it's just, I don't know. She's not top 10 material anymore anyways. So there's that. I'm also gonna put purple GT17 as well, just because he's still a solid unit. He's definitely a unit I feel like people kind of maybe are like a bit mixed on in terms of whether or not they like him or not. I see most people kind of tend to not be the biggest fan of this character. I personally don't mind him. I think he's solid. Yes, I do realize he's not like the absolute craziest, but he does his job all right on GT. He does provide a decent bit of support and all that. You know, I do like the fact that he does give a card on switch out the key. He can nullify endurance in the right situation with this green card to lock and can definitely be clutch for sure so he has some useful things and all that but i definitely get he may not be the absolute craziest and it would have been nice if maybe he had some like endurance or something like that for gt that definitely is something they do need for sure and on that point if you're gonna run gt mainly being like the tag fours and super saiyan 4 goku you probably are just better off running them on sun family because i'll say that's just their better team right now overall because you run with pan who's just a better support unit he was still zenkai buff the fours and stuff and just yeah simple as that so 
that is oh actually another character is gonna be making it into the uh armor but i guess let me just throw in super OG just because like he's still solid but like you know he's not top 10 worthy i just don't think simple as that ultra broly as well again i'm not ranking these in order i'm just throwing him in right there literally mentions it right there uh who else do i think is honorable mentions i guess uh rose lf rose i do think is honorable mentions worthy as well i don't think he's top 10 but he's definitely close you know what just just for his sake like put him up there it doesn't really matter whatever i don't know just yeah and then what what oh yeah roshi roshi's the other character i want to put in honorable mentions i don't think roshi's top 10 right now i just i don't see it like universe reps is solid but if you're gonna run universe reps you just run evolution blue vegeta simple as that he is the superior yellow in almost every way the only aspect that roshi can beat him in is of course you know the mafuba which evolution blue doesn't have no other unit has that that's the one aspect but i just think overall evolution blue vegeta is a better character which therefore i will value him more compared to roshi i guess at that point so there's that so with that being said we can finally move on to our top 10 list by the way if you're wondering why majin vegeta's here he's just a troll option just because he's my favorite unit in the game he's not gonna be in the list just spoiler i guess right there so that being said let's finally move into the top 10 list we're gonna be starting from bottom to top and all stuff so i guess our number 10 unit might come as a little bit of surprise but also not really to some it depends i don't know i'm gonna be putting lf tag super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta at number 10 and it goes the fact that again they're very very good for sure but i do think gt overall is starting to kind of fail or fall in comparison to other teams and stuff and all that and there's just a lot of other better teams and again gt they are starting to be in that position again where they do need some help like again like an endurance character an actual revival character could be good and stuff omega shenron the ultra variant of him doesn't even have his plat equip yet that's a very easy way to buff the tag right now which toshi said it's in the works we'll see exactly when it comes out who knows i don't know it could come out soon it could come out years down the line i don't freaking know but yeah i don't know but tag force are definitely still very very good for sure they still put in quite a bit of work i fight against them still a decent bit and they can definitely still be quite annoying and scary to fight against and all that so that's why i still think they're top 10 worthy for sure and again if you're gonna run with their best setup i would just say sun family is probably their best setup with obviously themselves pan and then else for goku which i'm actually going to rank higher than them reason why is just because of the fact that well you do have um, ultra gogeta blue i guess being like the main dominant purple unit in the meta and stuff and i just think else was for goku it's just more valuable in a sense because like his support you can also do damage the cover rescues and then also the fact that like he can be a really good last man standing character and all that i mean tag force can definitely be a good last man standing i just think i don't know i think overall in terms of a more well-rounded character i think ls super saiyan 4 goku just has the edge right now and all that so that's that's the main reason why i'm putting ls super saiyan 4 goku above a tag force you can they're definitely interchangeable for sure depending on your instance depending on your situations and stuff and your opinions but for me personally i'm gonna leave it like this i think this is completely fine enough so that is pretty much uh number nine and ten right there now moving on to number eight who was it that i had a number eight i think i remember who it was i think it was evolution blue actually i do think evolution blue's better than ls for goku i do I, I do personally think that evolution blue is the best ls kind in the game he actually has kind of surprised me sometimes when i use him and all this stuff especially lately i haven't been using him like the craziest lately mainly i've been using rose of course just for, like all the showcase stuff i've been doing on him but beforehand i've still been fighting against evolution blue vegeta you can definitely put in work for sure you can definitely be a character that you know you might kind of underestimate sometimes or kind of forget about but then he can very easily just sneak up on you and eventually just obliterate one of your characters out of nowhere and it's just like how did that happen like he's a good unit obviously because you know now it's quite a bit easier for him to ramp up and all stuff he can actually be decently beefy now now with his higher zenkai stats and stuff he has card draw speed now which is like one of the main things he really wanted pre zenkai i get it's 50 counts you have to wait in order for him to get the card draw speed but i genuinely don't think it's really that bad to be honest he's still fine enough even without it honestly and like he doesn't even need that much ramp up really to really 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 get going his special cover no yes is only in the main ability but it's quite accessible in terms of you just have to press the main ability you have it for 15 counts now it's longer than what it used to be beforehand and stuff you can go neutral his green card obviously being able to heal him and now the buffs he gets on the green card are permanent as well his ultimate not only doing a heck of a lot of damage but also being able to nullify endurance for 15 counts which i feel like is an ability that not many people really bring up actually that can definitely be useful in certain situations almost to an extent like ultra super goji except super goji is just way better because he nullifies endurance for 30 counts on his ultimate so like you have a whole 30 counts left of 
of play time, I guess, to be able to actually like make use of it while Vegeta is like half of that, but still a decent bit of time to maybe make some certain plays. Like you get rid of a certain character and stuff. And then at that point, I don't know, you fight against 17 and then you rush right after you use the ultimate, even though it's been like more than three counts. Guess what? If it goes through, he's still dead because the endurance location lost 15 counts. So Evolution Blue Vegeta, I do think is overall quite a well-rounded Zenkai and stuff like that. I do think he's quite deserving of being in the top 10 still and being above Elo Suzy and for Goku right now, especially, you know, you run him on God, key and stuff like that. He can definitely put in quite a bit of work. So there is that. Now, in terms of the number six unit, which I'm kind of close with this one, I don't know. Vegeta and Trunks. I do think Vegeta and Trunks now at this point with all the recent buffs and stuff. Why can I not put them above? There we go. With all the recent buffs in terms of like their equipment and stuff. Also, the fact that Future's been getting buffed. Even Vegeta Clan's been getting buffed and God Key, I guess, at this point. They've definitely increased in value and they're definitely a lot better now than what they used to be beforehand. So now I'll say they're comfortably in the top 10 and stuff. I do find them to be more useful and better than Evolution Blue, mainly just because of the fact that, well, they are on Future and future now has ultra rose goku black who's very very good and they actually work pretty damn well you can run evolution blue as well with rose but i think it's just a lot easier for you to run vegeta and trunks i feel like i feel like they work a little bit better compared to evolution blue at least for me personally from what i've seen and from what i find and all stuff so that's pretty much my opinion there. That's the main reason why I would even have them above Vegeta. And then also the fact that like their tag switch mechanic can kind of give them a bit of value depending on, you know, if they fight against like red units and stuff. And even if fight, fighting against purples, they can kind of cover for both in a sense. So I, I don't know, just because of those factors mainly, mainly because tag switch mechanics to an extent, but mainly because of the fact that the future team is so stacked and could be argued as the best team in the game. Maybe, I don't know. I just think that kind of pushes them slightly above Evolution Blue because he's he can't be run in future unless you leader slot him, but I don't really know if you really want to do that because again, it's probably just better off to either run future going at that point with LF Rose or not LF Rose, Ultra Rose or just run Vegeta Trunks if you want to yellow. It, 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 that's pretty much my opinion, I guess, on that point. But definitely a good unit for sure. Again, maybe these, well, I would say Evolution Blue and Vegeta and Trunks and like Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Tag Force, both of them, like both of those groups of units are like interchangeable between each other. But this is personally how I'm going to rank them myself, I guess, in that case. So that's pretty much that. So that's the seven through 10 uh, spacing, I guess, a portion of the tier list done. Now we're gonna be moving on to the number six pick of the list, which is definitely gonna be a sort of shocking one, maybe not, but to me it's kind of shocking, but eventually it was gonna happen. Beast Gohan is finally out of the top five, let alone the top three. Like, I, I didn't think this guy was gonna fall off, like, really at all out of top five for a good while. And well, here he is out of the top five already. Now, Beast Gohan is obviously still very, very good. It's just the main thing is obviously Ultra Rose coming out and being a very, very powerful green unit and Beast Gohan being a blue character, you know, that does kind of affect things obviously big time because, you know, well, obviously Rose, if he catches him, he's just gonna shred through him and stuff. But then you can also get the situations where if you get lucky and Beast Gohan catches him in the right situation, you have his gauge filled, you pop a green card or a blue card, you go type neutral, and at that point, Beast Gohan can still put in work for sure. Plus, if you run him on movies, you have Gogeta Blue on that team, so depending on how Gogeta Blue does things and if he's able to get Rose out, then at that point, Beast Gohan's still a threat, but it, it's dependent. Regardless, Rose does heavily affect his placement for sure, so at that point, that's the main reason why he's dropped down all the way to six. He's still a very, very, very good and capable character. Do not underestimate him just because of the fact that, oh, he's only six now. If you have Ultra Rose, obviously you're gonna be less scared of him and stuff. But like, even with Ultra Rose, if you mess up and stuff, this guy can very easily catch you off guard and he can still end up just decimating you into oblivion and stuff in the right situation but it's definitely more difficult for him now to just roam as freely as he used to i guess in that sense because there weren't as many green units especially powerful ones because the only main green unit you were really fighting against was tag fours or rev ui which that wasn't really enough now there's those two but then also you got ultra rose the big bad green unit you know so that's definitely a uh big issue for beast Gohan, obviously and then even for the next character to an extent as well which is lf android 17 i'm personally putting 17 over beast Gohan again i feel like maybe these characters you can maybe interchange as well but i personally find 17 just to be more valuable just because all of the utility in terms of like lowering or debuffing like the enemy's ultimate damage especially with damage removing their buffs which can definitely be useful versus rose and stuff in certain situations for sure his main is unique gauge being able to seal main abilities and also like heal your team and stuff a little bit that can also 
come in clutch for sure because you can see like rose's main ability so he can't get an extra ultimate he can't go neutral and stuff so because of that i find 17 just to be more useful and stuff and he has more tools in his kit to actually help him survive a bit more i guess compared to beast gohan in this current meta and stuff and just yeah and universe reps is still a good team obviously there's definitely other team setups that you can run them on as well so because of that i just think 17 is just better off than beast gohan in this meta which is why i'm personally ranking him at number five above beast gohan anyways but again you can maybe interchange independence on experience from my experience i just think i'm gonna put 17 at number five right there so that is pretty much that and then now this might be I've said this quite a bit, but this one might also be a very interesting one and you know Some people might get it, but then also others. I definitely don't expect to 100% get it But I'm going to rank some Azu at number four above. Yes LF 17 and Beast Gohan. I do genuinely think some Azu is that good right now I just think it's more so his value just because well individually he's a very very good unit for sure Obviously be able to do solid damage be able to tank pretty well having endurance being able to disrupt and all that he, can definitely, he, he definitely does all that pretty well, but then also the fact that he's on Future and he's like Ultra Rosé's best friend and Ultra Rosé is like one of the best units in the game. We haven't even ranked them yet. You can probably guess where he's going to be anyways. He's very, very good. So at that point, like you just run him with Rosé on Future and stuff and it's a very powerful pairing for sure. So at that point with how pow powerful that pairing is compared to like Beast Gohan and Rosé, you can't really do that i don't know if you really want to do that anyway sending like 17 and rose that may be a bit more but like i don't know zamazu and rose though definitely works a lot better just because it's future and stuff and then yeah at that point it's just a lot easier to set up and it's also just probably just better off anyways because they just synergize the best with each other so yeah at that point just because of the fact that how much value zamazu has in this meta even though that rose is green just because of the fact that how well he works with him and how good the future team is right now I do think Zamazu is just good enough to actually be above even these other two LF blue units that came out pretty recently and very good ones in fact as well because obviously I say very good LFs have come out recently then we have this guy who's who's solid and he's okay but he's definitely a bit subpar for sure compared to literally the LF he came out before him and even certain other ones I know some of them are legends hustle ones but still so because of all that into account plus also just how good Zamazu is anyways I do think he is worthy of being in the number four spot above 17 and beast gohan so that is my opinion right there so now we're gonna be moving into the top three which i feel like should be pretty obvious who's gonna be in the top three i guess you know what i might as well just put this guy in honorable mentions i feel like for this. let me just put these guys in honorable mentions just to not leave anyone out you know what heck even majin vegeta too I, I i can't do him that dirty he's like he, he's like way far down in the list but like just for the heck of not leaving anyone out i guess of the list you know i can't disrespect them like that why well, those put him whatever it doesn't really matter whatever anyways top three it's pretty obvious we're gonna be putting in top three question is exactly how am i going to rank them well i think the way they're ranked is definitely uh it, it, it's the way i'm going to rank them it's pretty obvious I, at least to me i feel like this is what i would personally go with i would still personally put ultra gogeta blue number one ultra rose number two and then ultra hit number three let me explain i know i've been seeing quite a few takes lately of ultra hit specifically being a potential number one candidate main people main person i've seen actually you know say this is dugo I get the fact that obviously he has him at 14 stars, you know, he has the whole powerful opponent team at 14 stars. Heck, I've even seen him mention that you running Hit, Rose, and Zamazu together might be legitimately the best team in the game and stuff. I can definitely see the case. I can't personally, you know, test it out myself to see exactly how good it is. So because of that, obviously, since I don't have Hit and stuff, and also I don't really fight him as much, and also when I do fight him, he's good, but... He's definitely situational. At higher stars, I could definitely see the argument for sure of him being number one, and it's not like a outrageous like decision or placement whatsoever to me. I just personally can't back it fully, mainly because of my own experience, because of the fact that I just have not I don't have hit, so I can't use him, nor I fight him, but also I haven't fought him that much, so I haven't been able to see him that much, and also I haven't seen him on this powerful opponent setup myself, so I can't really see exactly how good it is. For myself unless i watch videos but at that point like i don't know i just haven't watched the videos yet so at least as of right now 
hit i still think is very very good and obviously he gains a lot of value so i'm taking that into account still so because of that i'm being nice to him i guess in a sense and I, i'm at least giving him the number three spot maybe some people might not agree with this but i feel like he is genuinely worth being in number three he is very very good he's definitely when i do face him he's definitely one of those characters where it's like i genuinely fear him to an extent because you know the time skip he does a lot of freaking damage anyways and stuff you know even the blue units he can definitely do some pretty good damage and yeah he's pretty damn ridiculous for sure so at that point you know he's definitely very good for sure i just personally especially even from personal use obviously again i don't have hit i have these two and guess what these two are also ridiculous <laughs> rose is absolutely ridiculous rose i will say in terms of offensive damage and just raw damage output rose is number one but in terms of over like overall like kit and stuff like that like you're taking everything into account in terms of, like damage utility defense whatever all everything other than damage and stuff i do think gogeta overall still has the advantage he still does good damage he can he can tank decently well definitely i will say better than rose and stuff like that obviously his utility with his universal cover changes his unique gauge especially being able to counter blast cards rose can counter that to an extent because he does have a way of stealing blue cards so you can just get the gauge out and at that point gogeta can't really do anything unless there's like the very the very specific situation where he popped his main he still doesn't use the ultimate yet and then at that point he you counter him and then he has the ultimate rose can't seal that at that point but for the most part with blue cards gogeta shouldn't be able to use it versus him but still versus other characters you can definitely have that happen still which is a very very powerful mechanic for him for sure also you can run him with ultra rose too which i did try myself and it was a pretty broken setup as well so you can also do that and therefore that gives me even more value to also just stay in the number one spot i don't know i've, I've also been seeing people mention oh rose is the new number one ultra again this is just my personal opinion i still think gogeta blue just overall as a unit is just better than rose rose definitely wins in, in terms of offense and if that's what you really value sure go for it put rose at number one i just personally i don't think it's enough to really warrant him being the absolute best you in the game by far and stuff he definitely does a very good job offensive wise but gogeta can also do that too and all that so i don't know that, that's pretty much it i just think gogeta as an overall character i think is better rose offense wise is definitely better but overall in terms of like like tanking wise you can definitely take quite a bit of damage for sure he doesn't really have like as much utility as gogeta to an extent he does have a decent bit of utility but like the defensive neutral and then also like destroying dragons so like, i don't know it's kind of it's close between them i just think gogeta is just slightly better i do think he's slightly better but it is close between the two and then hit, hits in that discussion i would say at higher stars like at 10 stars plus and stuff i could definitely see the argument of him being higher in this list and maybe even potentially number one but personally for me i don't have him i can't really test him out whatsoever therefore i'm not gonna value him as high as others that actually do have him and especially have him at higher stars so that's pretty much that so that being said that is the finalized tier list and stuff that i have made for today's video and this month's top 10 unit list definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i don't expect everyone to agree and that's completely fine with it everyone is free to have their own opinions and stuff that's completely fine and again let me know if you guys actually want to see me hop back into doing the overall legends limited slash ultra tier list and stuff if this video hits 70 likes i guess that's like goal i'll do one later this month if you guys really want to see it so with that being said hope you all enjoy the video and uh, i will see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one, y'all.